Republican Pennsylvania congressman. He's also a member of the House Judiciary Committee and a former Navy JAG attorney. So the perfect person to be here with us to talk about this story. Guy Rationthaler, Congressman, thanks so much for being with us today. Julian, thanks for having me on. Yeah, you bet. So is this really President Trump reacting to a military that's become overly lawyered? You know, the president putting his thumb on the scale in favor of men and women that serve in uniform? Well, I can tell you from personal experience, I had uh, represented a Navy SEAL who was falsely accused of covering up abuse on the butcher Fallujah. <clears throat> and I saw firsthand how the Obama administration just threw these Navy SEALs under the bus for an allegation that uh, it was very clear it didn't happen. So I think what the president is doing here is he's reversing some of the Obama era uh, mindset in the military, and he's letting warfighters be warfighters. What strikes me there, right, is you and a lot of others go political on this, right? It's like President Obama was wrong, President Trump is right. But doesn't that kind of miss the point here? Isn't the point really about these men and women in service and figuring out um, how to create a military culture that obviously works for the fighters on the ground, but also that the American people are comfortable with? Well, the culture isn't working. We have to remember that in a lot of these cases, the Gallagher case, there was prosecutorial misconduct, where the prosecutor actually hacked into the defense team emails. Yeah. Uh, one of the other cases, exculpatory evidence, evidence that was favorable to the defendant, the accused, was not handed over. So there were serious issues of prosecutorial misconduct. That's troubling. But what it does is it makes the warfighter, especially the, the special forces, second guess themselves when they're on, the, when they're on these missions. Right. When, these, when they're on these missions, they have to be thinking about capturing and killing the target, not about getting wrongfully prosecuted back home. So I applaud the president's uh, commutation and pardon of these warfighters. I just wish that He's we get in. He's having their backs, kind of. <clears throat> right. He, we, in the military, we would say he has their six. Ah, right. Okay. But but I applaud the reversal of mindset because this will allow the warfighters to focus on the mission and not have that fear in the back of their head that they're going to be wrongfully prosecuted uh, stateside. Right. Which is incredibly important. I mean, you're, right. we're asking people to put their well-being, sometimes their lives, oftentimes their lives on the line. They've got to feel empowered to do what's best, what they think in the mo you know the moment demands. But to go back to something I just said a moment ago, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to take issue with it. I said I talked about creating a military culture that the American people are comfortable with. Right. Now, so here's here's the question: Is that something that's necessary? That's important? Do you think that military culture? does need to kind of reflect where the broader American electorate is? Or do you think that what they do is so highly specialized and is so important to national security that the public needs to take a step back, hands off, and say, you guys do you? Do you know what okay, so there's a lot going. There's a lot going on there. But do I think that the military should operate without rules and order? No, absolutely not. We have a UCMJ. We have rules of engagement. Um, you cannot just join the military and, and go rogue under the law, right? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of prosecutorial misconduct. There's a lot of political correctness that is unfortunately at play in the military right now, and I really think that started with the last administration. And we're but, finally sorry, reversing that. Sorry, I just want to that. clarify. If, mil if service members behave in a way that the American public thinks is unethical or goes too far, they object to somebody, you know, mistreating a prisoner of war, do you think that the military should take the American public's opinion into account, or do you think they need to kind of block that out Right. and focus on the mission. No, so the American warfighter is a reflection. The military is a microcosm of America as it is, and that's a good thing. And the warfighters are held to um, the rules of law, uh, Geneva Conventions, et cetera. But what's happening now is too often political correctness is getting involved in these decisions. Cases are being brought forward that shouldn't be brought forward against the warfighters. And worse, the prosecutors are under a lot of pressure to get convictions, and they're cutting corners. We saw it with the Gallagher case. We saw it in one of these other cases. The case that I was on, it got to the point where the prosecutors wouldn't even give me paper to write a motion. I literally had to write an appellate motion on a napkin from the dining facility. That's how bad it was. Um, I could give you more stories, but that's the problem. These uh, warfighters deserve due process. Um, they have to follow the law, of course, but the law cannot be wrongfully used against them to get wrongful convictions. Ah, well, sir, thanks so much for your time today, for sharing your perspective. 
really eye-opening. We appreciate it a lot. Thanks for having me on, Jillian. You bet. We'll have you back Thanks. soon.